Hi there and welcome to Triathlon 101, the course for nervous triathletes. We're in week four and at the end of this week we'll be halfway through the course. You might be doing it at a different pace, don't worry, you can come back and look at these videos whenever you need to. If you're doing it slightly slower, that doesn't matter. But we're introducing a new drill this week that really does matter. The drills are called shark fin and extended shark fin. Now these two drills are designed not only for rotation, not only for balance, but also to get you breathing in the right place in front crawl. And a lot of people suffer from breathing in the wrong place. So we'll explain that drill and then we'll go to the computer, have a look at it, and then we'll come back and have a look at the session plans in greater detail. The shark fin drill is there for balance, for rotation and for breathing. And it's breathing in the right place that we want here. So we have our arm out front of us and we're on the surface of the water, balanced so that the water is down your arm. And you then exhale, turn to the side. And as you inhale, your arm rises so that your thumb comes to your underarm. So you're breathing at the same time. All the time you're kicking with fins on, normally. Um, better with fins on because it balances you up a little bit more and gets you a little bit more speed. Come to the end of the length, change sides. Now you'll notice my lead hand, which has the palm facing the bottom of the pool, doesn't move from the surface. There's a great temptation with this drill to do this. And you push down and push the head up. We want to keep balanced in the water at all times. So we're getting the breathing in the right place, we're getting the balance, and because we're on our side, we're also getting that lovely rotation too. As the name implies, extended shark fin is just an extension of the shark fin drill. Here's how it goes. We start exactly the same as the shark fin, palm of the hand pointing to the bottom of the pool. Take our breath and then we bring the arm up again to our underarm and we change sides with one stroke. Two things important about this drill. Firstly, my arm comes up to my underarm without my head moving on the second time. So it's head still and my arm, my leading arm is still on the surface and then it changes. So as my arm leaves my underarm, then I can start moving the leading arm from the surface of the water. And you'll see that gets that near catch up position that we've been practicing with our finger drag. So it not only helps us with our, our rotation, our breathing, but it also helps us retain that arm on the surface until our arm comes past our shoulder and then we go. Anyway, Let's go to the computer and have a look at that with some swimmers doing it in the water. Now here's a swimmer doing shark fin, although she's breathing at every two arm pull, she's doing it really nicely and really balanced. And you can see that from underwater and above. We'll just take a look at that now in slow motion. And you can see it's a nice high elbow recovery, then a breath evenly taken with just a head turn. The body's doing nothing except staying there and now a breath as she raises her arm. Try and emulate that when you do the shark fin. Now here's a swimmer who's doing what we said might occur, um, which is just pushing down to get the head out the water. We'll just start it. And you can see the push down pushes the head out the water, but that sets up a sort of rocking motion where you're going too deep and too high. So it's too high, too deep. Let's look at that in slow motion high deep under the water so you almost have to do it the second time when you're so deep under the water please try and avoid that at all costs because it's not good for your swimming so let's have a look at extended shark fin now with a couple of exponents doing it and this particular girl is doing it well it's the same girl as before so she arm up and then forward arm up breathe and then forward you can see it below the water as well and the head stays in that position while she's breathing and here's a young boy doing it. Again, breathe, don't breathe, breathe, don't breathe. Now there's always a tendency to push that arm down. We want to keep the balance as good as possible, that hip close to the surface, and that's what we've got. Once again, we'll look at that in slow motion. Breathe, don't breathe, and the head stays still. Breathe, 
don't breathe and the head stays still. You can see that from below the water as well. Okay, so we're introducing the shark fin and extended shark fin in session 10, which is the first session of this week. Uh, and then we're going on to do some drills that we normally do, and you've done those, you should be used to those by now. But our main set here is based on our 200 time trial time that we did in the second week. So the speed we want you to hit is half of that time trial speed. And if you can keep that going on 2 minutes 30, we're getting to the point where actually, if you do another 200 time trial, you'll actually beat that time because you're getting used to it. It's becoming your norm. In session 11, uh, the aim is for more speed because we've got some sprints towards the end and even paced hundreds and two hundreds. But we have changed the drill. We're doing single arm without a pull boy. Now remember, with pull boy, you're holding your hand there. Without a pull boy, it's up to you to hold your hand there and get that rotation to both sides. You've got the shark fin and extended shark fin drill there as well. But the main set are four one hundreds of two minute twenty that's a slightly shorter time than you did the eight on Monday, and two 200s on five minutes. We've extended it out again for the 200s. And the aim is to do even paced swimming. You're not looking for a particular time, you're aiming for even paced swimming. So you want really good form, grab that water, move it out back, move it out back, take even breathing, and make sure you're not starting to increase speed as you go towards the end of a swim or decrease speed as you go towards the end of a swim. So it's even paced swimming throughout which is hugely important for triathletes especially as you go longer and longer distance. In the last session of the week we've called this harder and longer uh, and hard starts. What we're trying to do here is get you to swim slightly longer. This session is 2200 meters which is the longest session you will have done. But the main set after we've done all those drills including the shark fin and extended shark fin etc is 50 meter hard followed by a distance steady and that steady should be that steady pace you had on your swims from the previous swim when you're looking to do hundreds and two hundreds at a steady pace. So 50 meter hard, 50 meter steady, 50 meter hard, 100 meter steady, 50 meter hard, 150 meters steady. And what we're trying to get used to is the start of a race. Now in the start of any triathlon race that's deep water start, you actually want to start reasonably hard and then go down into your steady pace. Because you want to get past the malaise of people, that washing machine effect that people are trying to get away with. And if you can get used to going off hard and then getting down to your steady pace, calming your heart rate down while you're swimming, you won't get that horrible feeling of I shouldn't be here. So this is a hugely important session where you start hard and then you get into your steady state pace swimming. And we're doing that for longer and longer and we're actually repeating that twice. So 2,200 metres is the longest you'll have swum on this course. Hopefully you'll enjoy that because this is going to take you to the halfway point. Okay, see you next week. Hopefully you've enjoyed this week. Keep swimming.